It is because of I and you that Christ came and died. And his death and resurrection brought redemption to mankind. As we have accepted his name, he has given them the access to possess the things of the kingdom. I want to tell you, although you have been declared that you're not going to marry, although you've been declared that you're not going to give birth, although you've been declared that you're not going to make it in life, I want to tell you that dry bones, it is coming back to life again. God is reviving things. And then, as someone in the media to my comments, and they say, Put on the armor of God. Put on the armor of God. When you read Ephesians chapter 6, verse 13, it says, Put on the whole armor of God so that you may be able to stand. You may be able to stand in evil times or evil days. You see, one of the things that made Paul to say this, or the wisdom that made God to drop this message through Paul to the church of Ephesus, is that he knew that definitely a time is going to come that prices of food and beverages are going to go up. He knew that a time is coming that food prices are going to be expensive. He knew that a time is coming that a lot of businesses are going to collapse. He knew that a time is coming the world is going to face challenges. So he made the children of God to, to, to inscript this thing in their heart. That when all these evil things start to happen, when all these bad things start to happen, we will know how to live our life. Sure. Now, when we are talking about the armor of God, we are talking about as first accepting Jesus Christ into your life as your Lord and personal Savior. Two, having this word of God, which happens to be the Bible, studying the Bible and applying the words in it in your life. Apply the words in your life day and night. Everywhere you go, you let the word of God to be exposed to people that you have an encounter with. Two, three, you, 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 you put yourself in prayer and fasting. What do you want to say? Accounting and Bible. We say that we are someone in Bible. I hear what 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 idea about the idea is not a yanis alone. And then Christopher, I buy him pen Bible. And then Christopher, but majority doesn't want to put their stomach down and fast. Majority of us, no, we think that our life, no, near Yababi Duri Yababi, Yababi Jine Yano, we are comfortable with. So when a flesh come on, I feel like you start to say you are building your spirit up. I feel like you start to say we are getting closer to God. I feel then we will start, you, you, see, you see, we will start uh, giving huge offerings and so many things to some men of God to offer prayer to us. Let me tell you. When you start, God sees that that is how you are living your life. He will just neglect you. And then the person with Baba Chum, why didn't you say? Bible say, yeah, it's so when you're uncle, pa, could you know? In some three verses, you know, I say, now what to me, you know, upon some net, the idea, see, a better way, you better. Upon some of the first one, but that day, you pump. A better way, you better. Upon the four, but you need to be doing what you need to be a sin. A better way, you better. A new papa by your bonnet, but better be just to survive, just to put food on your table. A better way, you better. A new papa, but better be. I have a pin and coupon because the challenges that we're going through is going to increase day by day. That is why. Paul was telling the church of Ephesus that they should put on the whole armor of God. Tresa akodien wosha in jebi nama mfebi nitu bebi. Akodien ya dia wase kawo mu wana imu. Osha wye mu. Wadidi ya mu. Wotutun wosem. Bebe biya wobe febi ya no. You will be in the spirit of God. Wobe shenya unko pa akodien no. Na obi ya wo shenya mi akodien no. When the devil says you, he fears you. Anyone who puts on the whole amount of God, 
You have become a target to the devil. You are always a prey to the devil, but God will never leave you into the hands of your enemies for them to swallow. You see, Bible says God will not suffer the soul of the righteous to famish. That is why when P Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego were put into the burning furnace, God was there to save them. I want to tell you, this challenge that you're going to do, the kind of financial difficulties you find yourself in, you've been seeking for job for long, I want to tell you today that God will bring you a deliverance. New doors are going to be open for you. I don't care about how, what the world finds yourself in. All that I care is that all that I know and care about is that you deliverance is coming for you. God will make a way for you. God will make a way for you. He will surely make a way. You see, sometimes the devil wants them to feel that our God is not there. Sometimes the devil wants to prove to us that where is our God? When the Israelites left Egypt and go into the promised land. Bible said when they look back, they saw their enemies with speed and chariots running after them. When they look forward, the Red Sea was there. They started crying. I don't know that is how you find yourself in. You are running from one problem and you encountered another problem. It seems like your whole world is crashing. It seems like everything is not going on well the way it's supposed to go. But God told the Israelites that the Egyptians that they see them today, tomorrow they will see them no more. The kind of people they see them today, tomorrow they will not see them no more. This enemies, they will not see them no more. And he said, I will make a way for you. This mercy, I will let you pass through it. I don't care. All that I want to know, I want you to know is that God will make a way for you to pass through that storm. Bible said that the, the, the apostles said, Oh, what would I hear when the woman and we are dying? You see, the storm was, was about to capsize the ship that the, the Jesus Christ and the apostles were in. But when Jesus wake up from his sleep, he just stood up and said, Peace be still. Bible said the storm calmed down. Christ will speak into your problem. That storm that has lifted up against you, it is going to come still. Things are going to calm down. God is going to cool that storm. I don't care how long it has been. I don't care how long your problem has been in existence. But all that I want you to know is that if you are put on the armor of God, Jesus Christ will stretch his arm and call for that storm to be still. Bible said, when they lift the flood against you, I, the Lord, will set a standard before it. Don't let your challenges put fear in you. One of the easiest ways for the devil to attack you, one of the easiest ways that gives the devil access to attack you is fear. Fear opens door for the enemy to enter into your life. Because immediately you fear that I have failed. Immediately you fear that I am going to die. You've already invited the angels of those, the angels back in those words and, and fear to come and attack you. I just want to tell you that put on the whole armor of God. After fasting and prayer, don't stop giving. Don't stop giving offering. Don't stop helping the needy. You see, one thing that made giving in the Bible reasonable to me is that when Jonathan was helping David, he never thought that his son is going to benefit from that good thing that he's doing. He did pay the way for, uh, for my feeble son to leave um, my Lord to come and live in Jerusalem. A guy who was placed under curse. That he's supposed not to enter into Jerusalem because of the good deeds of his father. He paved way for Mephibosheth. Good deeds open doors that we're supposed not to have opened for us. Good deeds, giving, good deeds, offering. You see, the 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 the, the, the Solomon woman, the prophet told him that you just prepare what is left for me, and God will do it. You see, sometimes, you see, last 
Thursday, I was from Accra to Kumasi and I was with Prophet Peter Akla and we were having a discussion. And we were listening to some audio and the discussion ended that in difficult times, that is the time God demands something from his children. In difficult times. That is why when Abraham has prayed all his life for one son, God said, give me that one son that I have given you. Let me tell you, God uses the little you give to give you great things. Never allow anyone to tell you that giving offering, doing good, prevent you. A paved way for the enemy to attack you. It's a lie. Those people become hindrances to your prayer. They become hindrances to your blessings. Don't give them a chance. Put on the armor of God. From Bible, I was in. My Christian met in a woman. I give me a way of piano, and my woman fisher, who be saying Uncle Pacodia. And to a similar saying Uncle Pacodia, now many more dainty some men say no. Young Copon himself, but a bit baba, and yes, say baba yet, but my mana will name me no. So what some are codia will bet me a dinner, and to what kind some name to one of what said you or two or so soon in Tabiana to not trade young Pumina say, ha, or two or so soon in Tabiano, so what to not trade young Pumina see, Yaria Baba and Kumu, and Quinsaba and Kumu, a combe by and Kumu, and Kugo by and Kumu, a dear being where the prompter was a good do who were not a show walk on for because near what two or so to a so soon in Tabia, Nasa what to a so soon in Tabia, Nan Copon Tabina Cata was. And the Bible say, now one hour ten of the animal, when you are the four and Taban for the sun or Kodia, or two Mika one man, one lantern, one papa, a young person, the catcher on the sun, a Yasimam, a Hounia Mania, a Dulu Baby, a Mawabu, a Dulu Baby, a Mawanida Sosa, a Dulu Baby, a Yarian in Yuma, a Taco of Finances, a Juma Ayabasa, a Waria Ayabasa, a Wawa Pepia on Sanka, a Numabia Wapa on Sanka, and some Sawatra was fed on so many. Many times, you know, I yell at your bamboo bar, but I know that this man can't tell sir. What's sending you? I see now what you will mean. Oh, I want to find the sign of your money, but I'm not ready to a job about sending you putting with some hand and tibbing one, and you putting with some sour and tibbing one, and you putting with some rah and tibbing one, and you putting with some rebel and tibbing one. But Elizabeth to clean tibbing one at the age of 60 years. Now, if they were able to give birth, all these women were able to give birth. I want to tell you, you have impregnated something great. You have conceived something greater and you will give birth to it. I don't care how long it has taken up. All that I know is that God is bringing you a deliverance. He is making a way for you. He is bringing revival into your life. That that situation is being revived in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, God is bringing that death in alive. Bible is in a way that is the case. When the Papa no pay me down, when the window in the morning, now Bible is so catch on the same. Shasia is the case. Shasia is so come good on pay so. Now no pay one cup and no cup of money. Bible is when is the case to tell prophesy now. With a dry bones, he started to come back again. I want to tell you, although you have been declared that you're not going to marry, although you've been declared that you're not going to give birth, although you've been declared that you're not going to make it in life, I want to tell you that dry bones, it is coming back to life again. God is reviving things. He is making a way. He is just coming to, uh, to qualify himself in your life. Uh, according to Isaiah 62, be a uh, Bible and God said, I will give you a new name, which my own mouth will mention it. I just want to tell you, a new name is coming to you. God is changing your destiny. He is changing your story. He is changing your position. The tables are going to turn in your favor. I don't care how long. All that I know is that God said, I should come and tell you that he is changing you, bringing you a new name. Oh my God. God will make a way. He will just do marvelous things in your life. Don't accept failure in your life. Don't accept that there is no way you're going to make it. Don't let anyone discourage that spirit in you. Don't let anyone tell you that it is over for you. Don't let anyone tell you that you can't do it. Don't let anyone tell you that in the family that you come from, all people tried and they couldn't do it. I just want you to see yourself that Christ in you is the hope of growing. Bible said, You see, that slavery thing that 
have been in the family, people have been under, under attack. When they marry, they divorce her. When they give birth, then the babies die. When 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 they get money and in their 40s, 50s, then poverty will strike them out. I don't want you to see yourself and accept that into your life. All that I want to tell you that the secret that killed your father can kill you. The secret that killed your mom can kill you. That thing that affected your mom, it can affect you because you are put on the armor of God. Hey! That armor will fight on your behalf. That armor will retain your name from that decay shot. Don't accept any negativity into your life. God loves you. He loves you. He will continue to love you. It is because of I and you that Christ came and died. And his death and resurrection brought redemption to mankind. As we have accepted his name, he has given them the access to possess the things of the kingdom. And the things of the kingdom, no child of God is supposed to be denied of. You've been praying. You've been fasting. But I just want to encourage you to keep on. One of these days will be your day. Bible said one day is thousand before the Lord. And thousand can be one day before the Lord. Revival will locate you. Redemption. Deliverance. God will just bless you with something great. Don't give up. Keep on striving. One day, you will see yourself at the top. Don't let the crisis of this world make you deny your God. God loves you and he meant the best for you. God be with you. I will see you next week. Bye-bye.